Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Endpoint Agent. In this short demo, we're going to show you how easy it is to install the Carbonite Agent and configure it from the client if desired. So let's go ahead and get started. The Carbonite Agent is easily installed on many of the Windows desktop devices and Mac OS desktop devices. Also, we have agents for iOS devices such as iPhone or iPad and Android devices as well. The first thing you want to do is simply click on the executable to install the agent. It's pretty easy to install with few questions. The only important step here is to specify a local cache. The importance of this is so that if the desktop is no longer connected to a network, it can still perform the incremental backups as specified in the client. This allows for the protection and restoration of certain files even when not connected to the internet. Now that our client is installed, we can simply open the application and configure what we want to protect on this device. Keep in mind, this rule selection can also be controlled by administrators and locked out for end users if desired, which can make it easier for administration to be able to remotely manage thousands of desktops. If you're not being centrally managed, simply specify the locations you want to back up, and you can even utilize wildcards. There is additional settings such as bandwidth controls, proxies, and backup frequencies as well. The benefits of these is so they don't impact the performance of the desktop and to be able to control how many times or how often it performs the backup. Once you save these rules, it will automatically begin the backup process and your data is protected. One key feature for the backup of device data is Carbonite Endpoint's global deduplication process. This means that no data is backed up more than once across the entire environment. This is a tremendous benefit for devices as it only a minimal amount of data is actually sent to the vault which allows for faster and more efficient backups while utilizing less network resources. Now let's show how easy it is to restore data from the agent. Keep in mind restorations can also be controlled centrally by administrators if desired, which again helps for administrators to be able to control the entire protection and recovery of data on endpoints. However, for many environments, being able to restore the data by end users is actually quite beneficial, as well as it saves those pesky help desk calls. To restore data, we simply go back into the agent and click to restore search for the file that is needed or manually drill into the file system and just find the file if you're not sure where or what it's actually called. Having these two options is beneficial for users to find their data quickly. You can select from the most recent restore or you can go back in time which is really helpful in the event of corruption or ransomware. You can select the most recent time if a file was accidentally deleted or you can select from a previous point in time in case of corruption. Then you can restore the file to the same location, a different location, and also specify if there's conflicts what to do, such as overwrite, skip, or create multiple copies. Once the restore is started, the data is brought back, and it's just that easy. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of the Carbonite Endpoint Agent. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time, and have a great day.